Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. I have an ASUS computer here, and I'm going to show you how to get inside this and access your hard drive and your RAM and swap them out. Uh, I'm also going to give you some tips on things to look for if you're upgrading these. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is shut down the computer, unplug it. Uh, it's always good to be working on an anti-static pad like I have, or an anti-static bracelet uh, to limit the chances of harming your computer. Uh, so I'm going to shut my computer down and show you how to get in it. So if you're lucky like me, you'll have an easy access panel on the bottom of your computer. What these usually help with is accessing uh, commonly used components like your hard drive and your RAM. Uh, so if you don't have one of these panels, you may have to take off the entire bottom case. Best thing to do in that situation is search for a teardown or disassembly video on your exact model computer. If you can't find one on your exact model, go to the series number, which should be the first set of numbers or, or the model name. If you can't find it at all, keep in mind a few things. They usually hide screws under your battery, sometimes they'll hide them under your DVD drive, and sometimes they'll hide them under your rubber feet. So go slow, take your time, and don't force anything up that's not coming up easily. You probably missed a screw. If you do have a panel like mine, then you're in luck. It saves some time. I'm going to take out these two screws and pop the panel right off. There's my hard drive, there's my RAM. This is a pretty normal way that RAM will look in your computer. They'll either be two ports or one. They'll either be on top of each other or side to side. They're held in typically the same way, two spring-loaded arms. You pull those arms apart and the RAM will release. And then you just slide it out, like that. Now as a side note, if you want help in purchasing the correct RAM, look below in the description. There will be a link for how to buy the right RAM for your computer. There's a lot of numbers here, and there's only certain ones you need to buy the correct RAM. Not all RAM that physically fits is compatible with your computer. When putting your RAM back, keep in mind these ports are not the same size, so it has to go in a certain way. I can't put the RAM in this way. It's got to go back in the way that it came, and make sure that it's flush. If your RAM is in cockeyed, it could stop your monitor from working or stop your computer from turning on at all. As far as your hard drive, your hard drive is typically laid out like this. It'll be inside what's called a hard drive caddy. What the caddy does is it holds your hard drive secure, screws into the panel so the hard drive doesn't wobble and come loose. So you undo the screws holding the caddy in, and then I pull the, the caddy away from the port, and the hard drive releases. Now usually hard drives and caddies are held in by two screws on either side. Unscrew those screws and the hard drive comes out. Keep in mind to keep your screws separate when you're doing computer repair. Not all screws are the same length or width as others and you shouldn't use screws that are set for one purpose for something else. So when you're taking your hard drive out of your caddy, make sure you keep the orientation the same that it went into your computer. Sometimes these caddies are easy to forget how they fit into your hard drive because the hard drive can fit into the caddy any way you, you want to put it in. But keep it, So when you put your new hard drive in, keep it in the same orientation, screw it in on all four sides, and slide it back into the hard drive the correct way. Make sure that it's secure. If you're looking to upgrade your hard drive, a few things you want to keep track of. You want to get a 2.5 inch for most laptops. That's the size hard drive, 2.5 inch. You also want a SATA connection, S-A-T-A. -A. That's this type of connection that fits into the port in your laptop. Um, as far as the actual size, you can get 500 gigabytes, a terabyte. Um, it may not be a bad idea to upgrade to a solid state drive. There's no movable parts, they last longer, and they're a lot faster, which helps performance. Well, that's how you would swap out a hard drive and RAM in an ASUS laptop computer. If you have any questions, if you see something in your specific model that wasn't exactly like I showed, or if you have any questions on anything else, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description. It could save you some time. If you don't see it there, leave me a comment. I do try to get back to you guys a few times a day at least. Uh, like and share if this is helpful, and subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks for watching, guys.